In my trailer, I have used the convention found in all of the film trailers that I have analysed, which is to feature the institutional information at the start of the trailer. Additionally, I have also used New Line Cinema as a production company due to the fact that they produced A Nightmare on Elm Street, a film that draws parallels to mine. Consequently, as New Line Cinema is already a respected name within the slasher horror genre, it may entice more people to watch my film due to it being developed by a reliable company. The exposition of my trailer was also placed in the same position as the exposition of the Nightmare on Elm Street trailer, and therefore follows a similar chronology, which ultimately helps to give more narrative hints away. However, in addition to the similar chronology, I have also developed the exposition as by contrasting the relatively fast-paced exposition in A Nightmare on Elm Street with the relatively slow, more enigmatic, enigmatic exposition of my trailer. I am able to further develop a sense of mystery within my trailer. Also, as my film is not part of a franchise, I believe that it is important to give more narrative away in the trailer and therefore, by featuring an expositional shot that focuses more on narrative as opposed to action, I am able to clearly express my narrative. Another way in which I have used conventions found in other existing media is by featuring the producer's name after the exposition shot. This is also seen in the Nightmare on Elm Street trailer. Also, I have kept the producer shot in black and white, which follows the house style of my cross-media package, and moreover, house styles that are kept consistent within other films such as Friday the 13th and Halloween. By continuing my trailer with Todorov's na narrative theory in mind, my trailer progresses on to an equilibrium shot where three friends are sitting down. This equilibrium of a homely environment is a convention I used from the original Scream trailer I analysed as it paints the setting as serene and calm, creating a larger juxtaposition when events start to happen which put characters' lives in jeopardy, essentially making the trailer more tense. In the Evil Dead trailer I analysed, one notable feature was the use of captions, which are used to progress the narrative and also give a further insight to events, which help to provoke fear. I therefore use this convention in my trailer as it helps to tell the narrative and consequently the viewer will have more insight to what will occur during the film. Also, I have featured a rising soundtrack from after this point, which is similar to the soundtrack used in the Evil Dead trailer, as it reflects the mood of the trailer and the events which are happening. Following Todorov's narrative theory, the next area I needed to address was recognition. I have developed this convention from the Nightmare on Elm Street trailer as their trailer features a girl with a scratch on her top which through the use of shot reverse shot editing we can see that the supposed protagonist has recognised. However, in my trailer I have made the killer's presence more clear by featuring an over the shoulder shot which directly mark makes the protagonist the subject, thereby alerting her to the fact that somebody is after her. Hello? Another the convention that I have used that already exists in real media products is the phone call featuring an ominous voice which is unknown. This is a convention which is also found in the Scream trailer and further adds to Todorov's recognition theory. However, unlike the Scream trailer where the call happens in the early stages, I have allowed my phone call to occur later. This is because I believe the use of the ominous voice is more valuable when the house is about to get invaded, as it adds enigma and also more clearly tells the story due to the viewer being able to instantly recognise whom the voice belongs to. My trailer then progresses to a close-up of the master killer's weapon. This is a convention that is notable in the Nightmare on Elm Street trailer. The reason for incorporating this shot is because it is before the montage scene and therefore the audience are immediately aware that the antagonist is capable of murder and consequently the viewer will be intrigued to see what happens during the montage. Also, as seen in the Nightmare on Elm Street trailer, the use of the weapon alone can provoke fear in the viewer and thereby depicts typical horror conventions. My montage scene then begins, starting with a slow grab, similar to the one shown in the Nightmare on Elm Street trailer. In, however, I have developed the Nightmare on Elm Street trailer, as where there progresses and then slows down towards the end, mine progresses all the way through, showing more sense of thrill, and therefore making the, feel, the trailer more enticing. In addition to this, the music matches the change of shot, which is also a convention found in the Nightmare on Elm Street trailer. Therefore, it gives a high sense of professionalism, making my trailer seem of a better quality. I have used the convention of close-up shots in my trailer, similar to the ones used in the Evil Dead trailer. In the Evil Dead trailer, the protagonist utters that there was something in the woods, whereas in mine, it is that we need to kill the person in the house. 
this has been used because it provokes a more a higher sense of terror leading to the trailer feeling more horrifying similar to the ending of the nightmare on elm street trailer my trailer ends with a weapon slash which helps build tension as this is enigmatic and happens at a fast pace which builds tension after you? this my protagonist utters where are you which is similar to the Nightmare on Elm Street trailer where the protagonist utters this won't hurt one little bit this further builds tension as it happens after the weapon slash so we are wondering what, it, what will happen to the protagonist my trailer ends in accordance with all real media products with a date bling block and inf more information this is so that the audience know what to expect from the film and they know who is involved and also know when the film comes out I have used the same style as a Nightmare on Elm Street trailer but I have developed this and featured the changes of shots still sticking with the change of the beat of the montage music this adds a high sense of tension